The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Okay. Okay, the base pieces are made of plastic and I got those from... Um, the, they're packed into the ends of the paper, uh, rolls of paper that I get. Uh, printing paper. I work in a, in a photo place and every single roll has two plugs in the end so I have an abundance of those. And if you look closely I've ground out just in, on the outside of that centre circle by about three or four mil I've ground out a notch and that's for the uh, large pipe to seat into. Okay, The smaller pipe fits nicely in there like that that'll act as the stand the outside pipe slides into its groove when they're seated in there together you can see there's uh, for the spaces I've just used uh, clear tubing or electrical tubing which I found really good it'll last in water and it compresses a little bit very easy to source and there you go The centerpiece is just a, uh, a swivel off a USB device that I had, which is made of stainless steel, and that clips itself to the outside of the cell like that. Gives me a good connection. Uh, it's just a bolt held together on the inside as stainless steel washers, two inch wide and bits of clear hose that I've cut up and to act as the washers in between the spaces and does a really good job of spacing it I get a lot of surface area out of that which is why I've gone for that design instead of just a tube I've got a lot more surface area although I have a feeling that this baby's going to draw a lot of amps might heat up a bit okay so I've got three part cell one two three the uh, anode and cathode are just the edges of a stainless steel wall plate that I bought and just the edges were beveled too much to use unless I was doing some sort of a clamshell design and then I've got this whopping hole in the center so I just snap them off put them in a drawer or something and er, 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 snap them off the reason we use stainless steel is because it holds up to the electrolyte you know I'm probably going to be using uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide or some kind of lye in the, in the uh, electrolyte solution and stainless steel while it's a bitch to work with um, really holds up, it's the only metal that will hold up to that and won't sort of redox too quick and so these act as the positive and negative, they'll sit, sit up outside the container that's all you'll have to hook up probably make them out of something else, this is just for a test 